In this uh, screencast, I'm going to try to show you how you can make uh, an outline um, using a software called FreeMind, which is uh, designed for working with mind maps. And uh, I'm going to try to make an outline for an essay. Um, and um, then I'm, after I've finished making the, the outline in my mind map, I'm going to turn it into uh, text in an ordinary word processor. And um, I'm using the software for word processing called LibreOffice, which is, or LibreOffice, depending on how you prefer to pronounce it, which is designed to cover the same um, needs that you might have when you use um, something like Microsoft Office. The only difference is that this is freeware and uh, you can download it from LibreOffice.org as shown in this page. So before we begin, uh, it might be a good idea just to uh, kind of recap how to uh, make uh, an essay in English. Uh, it follows a, a, a certain structure and it always begins with an introduction and then there's a body and then there's a conclusion. And uh, the introduction can be subdivided into two uh, uh, points, which is the general statements and the thesis statements. And I'll uh, show you later on what that means in practice. And then also uh, in the body, you have to have t topic sentences with supporting sentences and a concluding sentence. And as you can see here, I've chosen to have three uh, topic sentences, A, B, and C. And then I have uh, one, two, and three supporting sentences for each topic sentence. And then I have a concluding sentence for each as well. And finally, you have to have a conf conclusion in, in which you restate or uh, make a summary of uh, the main points and uh, then you have a final comment, perhaps. Okay, so um, I'll try to put this into uh, FreeMind now. Um, and I'll just uh, swap over to FreeMind and then start using this structure. Okay, so now we're inside of FreeMind and um, to start a new mind map, you simply go to the file menu and then you just uh, choose new. And uh, you will now have a new empty mind map in which you can um, start making your um, your outline. And um, I want the topic for my, uh, my English essay to be the importance of theater in our society. Okay, so this is the topic of, topic of my essay. To move around inside of this area, you just simply click uh, with your mouse and move around in the white area here, okay? So when, if you click inside of the bubble, you're going to uh, highlight the text so that you can change it. But if you click in the white area, you can move it around, okay? So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, insert my uh, three main parts in my um, essay. And uh, the first part I need to have is the introduction. So what I can do here is I can insert uh, a new child note. And a child note simply means that it's on a lower level than this one. And since this is the the, main, the center of the mind map, all the nodes that I'm inserting here, they have to be uh, child nodes. Okay, so first I'll have my introduction. Oop. Introduction. Okay. And then I'll insert a, a sibling node, and that means that this is on the same level as the one highlighted. And right now I have highlighted my introduction. I could highlight this one just by pointing on it and pointing to this, just moving my mouse above uh, will actually highlight it, okay? So, below the introduction, I'll insert a sibling note, and this will be the body, okay? This will be the body of my my essay. And then finally, I'll have my conclusion. So this is kind of the, this is the, the, the raw uh, structure of um, my essay, okay? But obviously, I need to have uh, a general statement, as I said in the beginning, and a thesis statement. So I go back to the introduction again, and here I insert child nodes because they have to be on a lower level. And I have my general statement, and then I insert a new uh, sibling node because now I've actually chosen, you can see the general statement here, and this needs to be on the same level, my next node. So I'll make a sibling node, and this will be the thesis statement. Statement. There we go. Okay. And in my body, I needed to insert uh, three topic sentences. So I need to uh, 
go to my body here and then insert a new child node and uh, that would be a st uh, top pick st sentence all right and again uh, I'll need to uh, insert a sibling node and I'll have B my topic sentence B yeah and finally C topic sentence okay below here I'll just insert a new uh, child note with my supporting sentence A. I'll just skip ahead a bit and then finish uh, the rest of my topic sentences. Okay, so I've finished uh, putting in all my um, supporting sentence sp space holders here. This is not the actual uh, essay, obviously. This is just the structure. This is an outline of the structure, the things that need to be there. Um, I'm going to um, take all of this away and put in actual real sentences later on. This is kind of the outline uh, structure. This is the structure that I need to follow in order to make um, an essay. So what I'll do right now is I'm going to take these bubbles now and then I'm going to start thinking about what I want to write in terms of the importance of theater in our society. Um, yeah, so the first thing I want to say uh, I have two things that I want to say. In my general statement, I want to make uh, this comment. So I'm uh, highlighting the text in here in the general statement, and then I'm writing some text. And I've already prepared the text, so I'm just going to insert it by uh, copy-pasting. Okay, so this is, my, um, this is my general statement, which is ever since the time of ancient Greece, there has been theaters in almost all cultures, etc., etc. And then, my, in my th so this is kind of uh, something that is uh, generally known, uh, um, and this is why you know you would call it a general statement. And then, based on this, I will uh, I will claim something. And uh, I'm just going to think about what I'm going to claim, and then I'm going to write it. So, and since I've already uh, thought about what I'm going to write here, I've uh, copied it from. Uh, pre prepared it and copied, it, and then I'm going to paste it. Okay, so I think that theater is extremely important could be that I think that is very unimportant. So based on what my uh, ideas are, I'm going to make my claim here, okay? Um, and uh, so what's going to happen next is that I'm going to start uh, giving reasons for why my uh, thesis statement, my you know, what my claim is, why I think that is true, okay? And this is what I do in the following. So my first topic sentence will be, um, first of all, uh, the aspect of entertainment is very important regarding theater. This is uh, understandable. We need entertainment. So this is my first. Um, this is my first uh, topic sentence. Okay, and then I'm going to give examples as to why it is very important to have entertainment. And I'll just skip ahead and put them in here. Supporting sentence one, two, three, and then my concluding uh, sentence. Okay, so uh, here I've actually finished uh, my entire essay, more or less. You can see that I have uh, my uh, my uh, my body here with my first topic sentence and my supporting sentences out here, and uh, I have my second um, topic sentence here, which I actually uh, indicate by saying "secondly," and then I give my next topic sentence, and then my last topic sentence, which I indicate by saying "finally." So it's kind of you know, an indication when this, you know, this is not going to stay like this. I'm going to turn it into a real text, um, and when I do, uh, I want it to, I want it to be indicated that uh, that we have our topic sentences here by saying first, secondly, and finally, because you know, in that sense, it's kind of more visible. And then I have my supporting sentences, as you can see here in my final uh, and third topic sentence. Um, I didn't actually um, use make use of the, the third supporting sentence um, because I really couldn't come up with anything, and that's perfectly fine. So what I'm going to do is just remove that note so it doesn't just float around there. So I only have uh, two supporting sentences for my final uh, topic sentence, and then I have a concluding sentence, just like in the other uh, examples. And finally, in my conclusion, I've made a restatement of my summary. 
uh, and in the restatement of the summary, you kind of go back to uh, what you what you uh, said in your thesis statement. And my thesis statement up here was that I think theater is extremely important, uh, part of culture and society, and so on and so forth. And down here, I kind of, and then I've, I've proved it in all my uh, topic sentences and supporting sentences why that is so, why my opinion is correct, at least according to me. And then here in my conclusion, I go back and say, well, so as I said in the beginning, um, you know, it's very important, and now we know why, because now you've been given all my uh, reasons why. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to kind of make this a little more clear what this is all about. And w the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take here my my uh, entire uh, um, brainstorm here, my mind map, and I'm, give, I'm going to give it some colors. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use um, the uh, automatic layout option that I have here in the format menu. And when I do that, it's going to give it some nice colors so that, you know, you can see that have the body here and you have the introduction here and you have down here the conclusion in blue uh, colors and then my my uh, statements and and everything is green right and my uh, supporting sentences are red and it kind of gives a, a, a good overview of the whole situation so what I want to do now is I want to copy everything that I have here uh, and uh, by going and pointing to the um, the, the, the title of my essay, um, by doing that, I'm able to actually go up here to the edit menu and then copy the whole lot. So I'm copying everything, right? I could choose just to copy a single bubble, but I want the whole thing cop copied, the entire structure that I've now made, okay? And uh, the next thing I'm going to do, now I've copied it, so the next thing I'm going to do is going to head over to my word processor and then I'm just going to go and insert it. Okay, so now I've uh, launched LibreOffice or LibreOffice, um, and I'm going to make a text document. So here we are inside of a text document, and if I now go and say edit and paste, lo and behold, we have uh, everything in here uh, with the structure and everything. The colors are kept. So now I can actually go and and see what my my essay looks like. Um, um, when it's kind of put in a continuous um, way, you can see that you know now it's taken the the whole um, mind map and turned it into a nice outline with with a lot of text inside of it. Uh, obviously, I don't want it to say introduction, and I don't want it to say body, and I don't want it to say down here conclusion. I'm going to remove those parts, but for reviewing and for kind of you know looking at how things are 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 progressing when you read through the text. It's a very good way of kind of getting an idea of where you are, okay? Okay, so when you've finished reading and proofreading your text and you're, you're happy with it, then you can start removing all these bits and pieces that are being put in here, and you can turn it into a real text. Select everything, right? And just uh, remove bullets, uh, like here, like that, right? So now we've removed all the bullets, right? The next thing I need to do is just remove this, delete the comments, right? And I'm going to re uh, delete this part of the text where it says introduction and body and conclusion, right? So now we have a continuous text with a lot of coloring, but that can be removed too, right? So um, I'll just go and again choose everything and then I'm going to uh, remove the coloring from the text and say that it should be automatic, like this. So here we have a nice essay, and I can give it a, a nice title as well. Instead of having text body here, I can just give it a heading one. And here we go. This is my essay, right? And it's, um, and it's nicely outlined, and it's nicely arranged, and everything. Okay, so this is briefly the way that you would uh, use uh, mind mapping software, and in this case, FreeMind which is a free application that can be downloaded from the internet uh, for making uh, an outline for an essay and actually in fact finishing your essay off and, and inserting it into a word, word processor after and afterwards and then kind of um, post produce it so that it looks nicely in this manner Hard not to hesitate, but we can't wait.